Hey Tularinos, this is the thermometer I use in my shop to see what the temperature is. And it's from some sort of piece of equipment or a heating system. Um, but uh, it works perfectly well just sitting in the, you know, with the sensor in the air. And um, you can see what the temperature is. So if anyone has any ideas what this uh, might have originally been part of or came off of, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thanks. This is how you know it's really cold in your shop. When your evaporust has frozen into a slushy. Ooh, that's brisk, baby. Hey, Tularinos. Just thought I'd uh, drop a quick video to show off my Uncle Chaz's uh, tool caddy. He made this in uh, March of 2020, just when COVID was really setting in. And uh, he added some embellishment, which was pretty nice. Very stout. Feels very uh, sturdy and stable. New Jersey, the wood joint. 3-2020 and I like the the way the handle was put in with this kind of a slot pretty nice so I guess that could be my Uncle Charles's uh, tool caddy entry even though he didn't make it after the challenge but hey what are you gonna do <laughs> hey Tularinos um, due to the Scout Crafter challenge of making a tool caddy, I found myself looking for tool caddies uh, when I was over at my father-in-law's garage where he said uh, we can come in and take whatever the old stuff that we want. So, uh, you know, that's super exciting. And this looks like a quickly made uh, tool caddy from a little wooden crate. I don't know what this wood crate was originally for, but it has these kind of scalloped cutouts at each end. Um, so I'm not sure what this would have held. If anybody has any ideas, they could put that in the comments. But uh, for the making a tool caddy out of it, he just, uh, or his father or grandfather, not really sure how old this is, just nailed a couple pieces on the sides and used a piece of broom handle uh, for the handle. And if you take a look here, you can see that the nails came through and then they were hammered down. Uh, cleat style or, or whatever you call that, that Scout Crafter showed us recently, or a little while ago. And uh, the handle itself, you see has a lot of nails holding it together. There's a nail at the top and a nail on each side to hold the handle in place and hold this top together but you can see it was splitting and there's two more thin nails that were driven across. This one popped out but um, ultimately it has held together all these years. Two little nails again. Uh, this was full of uh, painting tools, paintbrushes and rollers and stuff, and it's still perfectly sound, you know, it's, um, it's not wobbly or shaky. It's uh, perfectly intact after, I would say, at least 30 years, probably more like 50? <laughs> I don't know. So that was a cool tool caddy to come across, something I can clean up and uh, continue to use. Neat. All right, out of the old garage, I found another tool caddy, or the remains of one, that uh, he says was his grandfather's that he used on the job. And uh, you can see, unfortunately, it was sitting on the floor in a wet, damp old garage, and so the bottom comes completely rotted out of it. But I thought I could get some inspiration from it. And uh, I was originally hoping I could salvage it, but it's too far gone. But you see here, it had long leather, long leather strap. Let 
where it eventually you know went together had this very large leather strap and uh, it also had this is very big a very long tool caddy it's hard to get it all in frame um, a piece of uh, canvas that was able to be folded over to protect the tools so that was interesting another interesting feature but so I, I you know I asked him you know why why the strap and he said that you know if if you're working construction and you need to carry your saws and your drill and everything um, and climb a ladder or something this way you could put it, the strap over your shoulder flip it around uh, you know behind you and climb a ladder or if you're walking to the job and you need your hands free to carry other tools or fasteners or materials you know having the strap was a way to carry the tool caddy without having to use your hands so kinda interesting I thought and just to help give you guys a sense of the size of this I thought I'd measure it um, from that end over here you know 33 inches from end to end so it's a very long tool caddy like I said it definitely used to have saws in it and six inches wide on the inside when I found this on the floor there was a saw on top with the handle intact below that a saw with a handle that was rotted into crumbling wood and below that a saw that was just a blade <laughs> the handle was completely gone and indiscernible from the rest of the rotted wood that was the bottom so unfortunately left in a bad place for too long but still interesting uh, old tool caddy uh, some good uh, inspiration from this